That's right, grow my little pear tree. I'll have a partridge for you soon. All right, it's time to decorate for Christmas. Ooh, Ooh I'm gonna make hot chocolate. I'm gonna make a fruit cake. Don't burn anything down. Yeah, yeah. No, really, my pear tree is in there. All right. It's so crazy that you all celebrate our holiday too. Your holiday? Yeah. Christmas is a holiday celebrated by tombs across the tomb world. Wait, do you mean a manger? Bethlehem and the little shepherds? What? No, we're talking about Kriskin. Kriskin? How do you spell that? Kriskin is the hero of the tomb world. Legend has it he was hand drawn by the Imaginator himself. Kriskin brings peace and joy each year. And we call it Christmas. I love Christmas. Maybe we can tell you the story when we have dinner. Oh no, my tree. Whoa. No. <laughs> Christmas, the worst time of year. Truly the worst. What's on your head? Oi, never you mind that. Whatever. We don't have time for this. We have to stop Christmas. What are you doing? What do you mean? You're rhyming. I'm not rhyming a thing. Oi, so that's back to... See, this is why. I need to break the curse of Christmas rhyme. That only happens to you, apparently. Quiet, cat, or I'll have your hat. <laughs> now that you're done, I have a plan. We will steal the legend of Christmas tome, so there's no more Christmas in any homes. Oi, that is a big plan. How evil. We need to find three clues. Each will show the way, then I'll cast it into the fire, and end Christmas Day. Oi, this is already getting old. So, three clues, we get the book, Tome, we burn it in Mount Beast, and then no more Christmas. In the homes. Oi, where do we stop? What should we put at the top of the tree? That ore. Get it off me. Be smarter than the decorations, Craig. I made hot chocolate. The orb is a great idea, Axel. What's going on? Uh, who are you? Good day, fellow teens. My name's Tolbert. Um, we're Savvy and Craig. Yes, I'm well aware of who you are. I've been sent to get your help. Sketch is on the move to destroy Christmas. Wait, your Christmas or our Christmas? It's the same thing, Christmas, Craig. Oh. We have no time. We have to stop him before he ends Christmas forever. Okay, Frank, let's go. Oi, almost done. Got it. The Frankenbot is good to go. Now we can keep an eye on Savvy and Craig just like Halloween. Great, let's go. Oh. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go get the book now. One does not simply get the book. 
There are three clues. After the second clue, we get a key. Then we get directions to the book. These tasks will be perilous. Are you sure you're up for it? Let's save Christmas. Then it's settled. You shall be the fellowship of Kreisky. Great. So what are we doing? Have you not been listening? The first clue is, roses are red, and so am I. Winter is blonde, but I bring spice. A riddle? Ugh. Roses are red, and so am I. Winter is bland, but I bring spice? What does that even mean? We're here at the North Pole. Let's hurry because I'm getting cold. Well, it says winter and spice. What's a winter spice? A nutmeg. Pumpkin. That's fall. Cinnamon. That's it. A cinnamon candy. But we don't have any. Where can we get something so mysterious? Probably the grocery store. Great. Benson and Axel shall go to the store and get the candy. Great. What? Candy? That's what they just said. While I get us back to the lair, you tell me the second clue there. Don't burn anything down while we're here. What do you mean? There's no oven. I can't do anything. Okay, next clue. Now make the mixture sugary sweet. It might be cold, but bring on the heat. The heat? But it's winter. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is, sugar cookies. We have candy, what's next? We have to make cookies. So I need to turn on the oven? No, no way. What crazy person blows up a grocery store? Oi, my tail almost burned off. Anything on the francometer? They're making sugar cookies. Really? That can't be. I hate sugar cookies. I'm also gluten free. Leave it to Chef Frank. Oh, great. are done. You, you did it. That's the first good thing you cooked. Finally, I am no longer ashamed to meet Pavilion. What now? We did it. Finally, the last clue. What does it say? When this is done, there will be no more Christmas Day. Oi. Wait. Didn't we do something creative just now? Oh no! The meter! What's it at, cat? Our evil fuel is low! No! Read the clue! Take the key where boughs are green even in the winter scene where Kriskin came to bring us peace. We need to go there. So, like the story? Where's that? 
It's very the cheese they green inventor. You mean like an evergreen tree? Oh yeah. But where would that be? It's written on your water tower. Wait. Our town? Yes. So the key goes there in the park? Somewhere. There's got to be a way to narrow it down. All right, Cap. Where is this tree at? Oi, they figured it out. The Frankometer says Evergreen Tree. There it is. In the middle of the forest it lives. Your rhymes are getting worse. Oh no! Sketch is already at the park. To the car. Come on. Yes! It's mine! And mine! Now! Time to destroy Christmas forever! No more gifts! No more cookies or cheer! All of it will disappear! Not so fast, Sketch! No! It's too late! It's time to end Christmas Day! Hand over the key, Sketch! Who is that? Tell me. Don't make me say please, for I will destroy this tome in Mount Beast. Why is he rhyming? You've caused enough trouble. Release the tome. Never! Oh no! What do we do now? I'll handle this. What just happened? Oh, uh, we have to find a way to help him. Hey. It's now or never. It's time to destroy Christmas forever. Oi, yes. Enough, Sketch. Leave me alone. You know the Imaginator won't allow this. What? You don't know? He's the one who made me a Sketch. I'm unfinished, undone, and so is my lazy cat. Oi, wait. That didn't rhyme. What are we going to do? I don't know. I could use a cookie, though. This wouldn't have happened if Benson didn't blow up the oven. He didn't do anything wrong. Maybe if you would have supported him first. I did. Now, dudes, let's all just chill. Well, why didn't we just ask the orb for help in the first place? We don't even know who Christopher is. Maybe he's helping Sketch. Enough! Fighting isn't going to help. We should have asked him more questions. He could be evil. That's what I'm saying. He seemed nice to me. Everyone seems nice to you. Not true. Wait, everyone. I have a plan. I don't know if I like that. What's your plan? To do what I do best. Cook. It's time I finish a plan for once. And you can't stop me. Don't cast it into the fire. The tome is mine. Huh? What's that? I don't get paid enough for this. You're getting paid? Run, Topher! What? Benson dropped the oven. Run! Thank you all for your help saving Christmas. No problem, Topher. But I believe you're supposed to keep these. Us? Keep it secret. Keep it safe. What will you do? Well, I have gifts and joy and peace to give to all the kids. Um, where did you come from? Merry Christmas, Savvy and Craig and Tunes. Enjoy the book and enjoy the season. What up, Legends? You want to look legendary? Well, you need to head to the Legends shop. Go to our website, lighttoonsanimation.com, and get your legendary merch today. Make sure to have a parent or guardian 
with you when you're online. Okay, now back to the episode. Every year this happens. Well, want a cookie? Sure. Oh, wow. That's actually really good. Meowy Christmas sketch. I hereby toast Benson for blowing up the right thing for once. Grazie. Oh, let's read the story before we eat. Okay. The biggest fear for any tune is the fear of being erased. The great beast, the original villain of the tune world, made it his sole effort to erase all of the tunes. Then one night, underneath an evergreen tree, the Imaginator drew by his own hands Kriskin. Kriskin was made to show love and kindness to all tunes. His great mission to save the tunes from being erased. The only way for a tune to keep from being erased? To follow Kriskin back to the evergreen tree to meet the Imaginator. But Kriskin's plan was interrupted by the great beast. And there in the forest of the evergreen, a battle began. Kriskin and the beast were never seen again. Legend has it that the great beast was erased. On occasion, tunes claimed to have seen Kriskin, even following him to the evergreen. The legend of Kriskin lives in his book. All tunes who believe that Kriskin still lives celebrate every year the day of his drawing underneath the evergreen tree. And that's what our Christmas is about. Wait, it says here the only known sketch of Kriskin is seen on the next page. Wait, that's Topher. But that means... We saw Kriskin. All right, the food, uh, she's ready. Savvy and Craig, we told you about our Christmas. What about yours in the human world? Yeah, is Kriskin here too? Not quite. I'll tell you our Christmas story though. It began years ago in a humble little town in a country far away when suddenly an 